Eric problem right. To a few he's overrated, but to most he's the GOAT. In this video I'll be discussing why he can make a case of whether he's the best to play or just simply overrated. Let's get into it. Problem has played in many Madden tournaments and has won up to 250 to around roughly $400,000 just from playing Madden. He's one of the best, if not the best, Madden competitors in the world. Even though he hasn't won a Madden challenge since Madden 25, some people still regard him as the best. I'm sure most people consider him the GOAT because of his dominance on his sticks. Problem has won more games than he's ever lost. I'm pretty sure if anybody was keeping track of his own loss record, it would probably be the best in the Madden community history. Now, I can see why some people think of him as overrated. He hasn't won any major tournaments, but he hasn't had anything to win. Lately, since Madden has slowly become an eSport and Madden 16 is where it all began, since then, we have seen two different winners since Madden became an eSport. Problem has came up short in each of those tournaments. One of the winners met Problem in the finals and simply outplayed him. For a person such as Stiff to take out Problem is just impressive. Stiff just had been playing competitively for three years prior to winning the championship. And the winner of the other Madden tournament was Serious Mo. Problem lost the skin ball in this tournament, but if you know anything about Problem, it's that you know he will place in the top four if anything. When you play Problem, you better bring your A game and play perfect, because if you make one mistake, he'll make you pay for it. Serious Mo just had been playing Madden full time for three years and just recently been living in his mom's basement prior to winning the Madden championship. And most recently, Problem lost to D Jones in the Madden 17 Madden Classic. Once again, Problem fell short of a championship. Spot Me Please went on to beat D Jones for the championship. Spot Me Please came back with the vengeance after losing to Problem last year in an embarrassing fashion. Spot Me Please is the first champion of the Madden 17 Championship Series of the year. Even though Problem has been searching for a Madden Championship, there is still hope. With the Madden Bowl Challenge and Championship upcoming this year, he has more than enough time to capture his well-deserved and long-awaited championship victory. Never count him out of any tournament he participates in. Problem is well respected in the Madden community. Since his first major Madden Championship victory on Madden Nation 2007 playing Madden 08, he is the only relevant player on the show to still dominate. When was the last time you heard anybody from Madden Nation to still play? Personally, I've probably only heard Jet Steel, Young Nephew, and Secret. With two of them being former Madden Nation winners and Secret and Young Nephew, they just haven't been as dominant as Problem in years past. Whether or not you think Problem is the GOAT or not, hopefully you get the point I've made. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more videos like this, suggest them in the comments below. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this highlight reel of Problem in Madden 17.